getting ready to take Grant Smith, of course, in the yellow down at the other end. And Bromley have been uh, switched over at the kickoff. We were talking about that, and uh, it's not the switch that they'd have hoped for, no. as uh, they obviously lost the coin toss. Yeah, they prefer shooting towards the uh, car park end. Mandeville with the ball into Banks. Can he pull it across the face of goal? He can. Griggs there, across the face of goal. Naylor wasn't close enough to it. And Alex Kirk is there to sweep up and clear the Bromley lines. He's now retreated, ready to take this corner, which he does. It's a drilled effort, right-footed in towards Cheek. Cheek gets the head on it. It might fall for Kirk. It might not. It's another corner. I think it came off Mandeville there at the back post. Corner then, Mandeville to take it. Jacobs has come short to the edge of the penalty area, but Mandeville delivers it in. It's a dangerous one. Headed away by Cheek. Comes back out to Oldercut, who skips away from Crowhouse and goes down. And the penalty's been given here. Crowhouse it was with the challenge on Oldercut. And Will Grigg has a chance to put Chesterfield ahead here. Grant Smith, the man between the sticks of Bromley, Will Grigg, a man who's in some form for Chesterfield going to take this penalty. He had his name written all over it from the minute the referee blew his whistle. Penalty to Chesterfield. We're just awaiting the whistle. There it is from James Durkin. Grigg steps up and hits the back of the net there. Grant Smith dived the right way and almost got a touch, but it's Grigg who puts Chesterfield ahead from the penalty spot. A foul from Crowhouse on Oldercut. James Durkin was blowing the whistle straight away there. It was indeed no hesitation at all. Once Oldacre did that drop of the shoulder and just took it past his man. Crowhouse got too tight to his man. A little tangle of legs maybe. There was definitely a challenge in there. It was a coming together. Dan, you can't put your hands on a player like no. that in the penalty area. It's uh, unfortunately it's a poor. Banks now to Oldacre. And he finds Grimes, who is another defender that's not afraid to break through the halfway line. Here's Grimes again, clipping the ball in towards Naylor. Great ball and a great touch. Naylor back to Jacobs. Opportunity to shoot for Jacobs, and he just clears the crossbar. Brilliant football from Chesterfield. Get a spell of possession. Aldeco with a, a ball for Grigg, which he latches onto very nicely, beating the offside trap. Here he is into Banks. Good football from Chesterfield again. Banks across the face of goal. Great save by Grant Smith as he looked to drive it into the roof of the net there, Ollie Banks. Back into Old Acre on the edge of the box, plays it through, it's diverted away by Kirk and Krauhaus and now Pasley, who clears up for the run of Louis Dennis, neither side making a change at half-time, but Dennis might get ahead of Williams here, really good play from Louis Dennis, who's uh, causing Williams a few issues here as he leaves him on his backside, in towards the box of Michael Chee, great save, second attempt, will it go in, it's bundled over the line, and probably have an equaliser in quite a strange fashion for their first attack, really their first shot on target of this second half and the ball ends up in the back of the net it took a couple of ricochets but Tyra just couldn't keep it out in the end taking on Williams into the box Dennis has to come out of the box momentarily but he's still going Alex Kirk asking for the ball he receives it here's Kirk goes for the crossing towards the back post Cheeks there with the header and he leaps high and ahead of everybody else but the ball is over the crossbar here's Shackelford driving forward now Shekelford sees his pass blocked Top Lodge will try and come away with it and he does finding Dennis Whiteley making the run over the top there for Corey Whiteley making his way into the box towards Michael Chee great chance Chee makes it 2-1 no mistake from Bromley's main marksman Michael Chee as he finds the bottom corner a brilliant and a quick breakaway put on a plate for Michael Chee and he could not miss Chesterfield take the throw through Shekelford now Mandeville Old Acre just steps on the ball but carries on here's Jacobs he was in space there Old Acre Jacobs into the box for Naylor Naylor playing it back to Old Acre here referee has to get out of the way Clements now Old Acre again with a lovely drop of the shoulder once more That's just good. looks so effortless doesn't yeah. it yeah he does Darren Old Acre the former Dorking Wanderers man really good play Banks with the shot from distance oh what a goal that is from Ollie Banks my goodness me what a strike that is from 25 yards out ricochets in off the top of the crossbar just about crosses the line but that is some goal wow what a strike crossbar down I think it actually hit the crossbar again 
Brilliant strike that from from Banks. Brilliant strike. Speechless. What an effort that is. Bar down and in. Grant Smith, no chance. Olamola up top with cheek, I would assume. Ball delivered in from Naylor. All the way across the face of goal and all the way into the back of the net. I'm not sure if it took a touch. Naylor is the man celebrating. And Chesterfield have turned it around again. 3-2. Yeah, brilliant game of football this. Running towards the near post. Just that flick on at the near post that took it away from Grant Smith. No one following his runner. Chesterfield regained the lead here. In quick succession, only seven minutes ago Bromley led, or ten minutes ago Bromley led 2-1. And it's Chesterfield this time that, that go in front and do the turnaround. Great opportunity there for Bromley to level it up again. But Grant was denied. Corner to Bromley as it's whipped in, floated in towards the back post, headed away, might come here for Cheek. Cheek goes for the effort across the face of goal, it comes off Woods, top of Lodge, and Grant had a swing at it. It can't be diverted home, great defending. Chesterfield already singing champions, why wouldn't they? Yeah, they're so far in front, Chesterfield, that it's uh, almost a foregone conclusion. Ball is cleared upfield, headed away by Banks, Reynolds with the hook over the shoulder, picked up by Olamola. Round the corner there for Miles Weston, who takes the ball in his stride, gets a low cross in towards Michael Cheek. Great opportunity, and he's into the back of the net. It's a hat trick for Michael Cheek. The first hat trick in several years from a Bromley player, and they are level. What a finish it was, and brilliant work from the super sub Miles Weston. Cheek over towards Olamola. Now round the corner for Weston. I think he's made the wrong pass there. Olamola was the man that was in behind. Here's Topolodge. Topolodge with a low effort towards the back post. What a save that is from Tyra. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. That is save of the century. Forget the season. Harry Tyra has just pulled off one of the best saves that I've seen here. Absolutely oh incredible. Oh my word. Bromley wow. should have been 4 3 up. Instinct save that from Tyra. What a save. Topolodge is there, he can't get his head on it. Cheeks there too. Finds Olamola on the edge of the box. Here he is, Olamola cutting inside. Ball across the face of goal. Comes off the crossbar, my goodness. Bromley are coming close here. Smith with the clearance upfield. Olamola trying to make things happen there as it's cleared away. It's Bromley who are doing the attacking at the moment. And uh, Chesterfield bringing on Ash Palmer, a defender. As uh, Alex Kirk drives forwards now, cross into the box towards Michael Cheek at the back post. It's in there, it's there. Oh my goodness me, it's Sam Woods with a goal deep into injury time. Well, Bromley were prevented a few moments ago, but they're not to be denied this time. It's super Sammy Woods with a goal at the death. Weston, back to Topolodge. Topolodge, is he going to blow his whistle? The long ball forward. And there the whistle go. goes, and probably have the victory here today. They may be champions elect, but they just can't buy a win at Hayes Lane, Chesterfield. 4 3 to Bromley. Yeah.